What's up everybody, Bill here, Guitar Struggles, with a shitty video. A shitty video about foolishness and fucking stupidity and, and the state of the world, how fucking stupid the world is. Not necessarily the world, but the people that fucking live in it. The world is very smart, the planet. The planet is heating up and people like to call it global warming, but the planet knows it needs to be a little bit fucking warmer and it's very intelligently heating up all on its own. And people are very fucking angry about that, but that's how fucking stupid people are. And they're like, we need to stop this by paying more money in taxes. But that's not what this video is about. This is about even more fucking foolishness. More specifically, or more pacifically, if you prefer, the state of Congress versus Facebook and how it's been on TV, like every fucking day, all day long. And if that's not stupid enough, I actually saw somebody that's like, I watched the whole thing. I, I just, I was fucking riveted to it. Not very riveting tele television, but again, the, the state of fucking people in this planet and, and where their fucking brain is. Uh, but some fucking boob watched it all day. I'm sure that's not the only one. I'm sure plenty of people watched as much as they could and just fucking riveted. Now, there's not much interesting to this, but, but I did find a couple things interesting. And the irony, which I'm not using this correctly, irony, but there's something about this that, that I find interesting. We take... On this side, Congress, an institution over 200 fucking years old, well over 200 years old, over 240 years old, that was once highly respected, okay, once a highly respected functional institution that, that deserved commanded fucking respect, but this once great institution has turned into a complete fucking farce because it's filled with a bunch of cunts. All of them. Even the ones I agree with are a bunch of fucking cunts. They're fucking parasites, these congressmen and senators. Okay? And then the juxtaposition is versus Facebook. Now, th this is something that should be a farce, but it's giving all, it's given all the credibility in the world. Facebook. Oh, fuck Facebook. This is shit that was invented for you to take a picture of your fucking French toast that you had for breakfast and share it with your fucking friends and the whole entire world, okay? But now, this is a very respected respected institution, Facebook. So so right there is the first interesting thing that I, that I found about it. And if the founding fathers were alive today, they would be like, well, first they'd be like, I can't believe I'm still alive and I'm like 300 fucking years old or, or close to it. But second of all, Get me a shovel, because I need to dig a grave for myself so I can start rolling over in my fucking grave. Because this country's fucking gone fucking batshit fucking stupid. Uh, these people are fucking stupid in this country. I've, I've fought for this country so these people could turn it to shit like this. That's what they would say, and that's a quote. It's a famous quote that I just fucking made. So let's see. What, what is the outrage with Facebook? Well, first, there's a history of Congress doing this. One of my favorites was steroids in baseball. And Congress, as far as I'm concerned, the government should do basically one thing. Defend our fucking sovereignty. And that's it. That's the only thing that it's really there for. And it's fucking metastasized into this giant fucking shit. It's metastasized into a giant shit is what the government has done. And it's just self-serving and it feeds itself so it can constantly fucking grow. And it's out of control and it sucks. It sucks ass. Yeah, and they're supposed to make a budget. They, they can't state it. Well, we got to make a budget. Well, we're going on vacation. We can't make a budget. But we need to, we need to get to the bottom of steroids and baseball, okay? And they had to do that. And they, they did the same shit as they did here with Facebook. And it's like, you can't make a budget. You can't defend our poorest fucking border. You can't defend our country and, and a bunch of other shit that you need to be doing. But you're going to you're, you're stick your nose in a whole bunch of places it doesn't fucking belong. And another famous example of this was the great, great mighty railroad and the railroad people, okay, that, that invented the railroad and the train. And, and these motherfuckers, the railroad used to be a private fucking company, okay? And, and, it, and it basically helped America grow and it was, it was a great thing for America. And then Congress was like, this fucking railroad shit is awesome. We need to get these motherfuckers that own the railroad and sit their ass down in front of Congress and intimidate the fuck out of them, and we need to take this shit over, because this is a moneymaker. And now what do we have today? Amtrak. The, the most dangerous mode of transportation that's always fucking flying off the rails, and never makes a profit, and more than likely is never on time. You know, so they took something that transformed this country into a great country, which was a big help, maybe not solely, but it did help transform this country, 
Now to something that's turning this country into shit from the government taking it over, much like everything. And now they're like, they're all a bunch of old fucks, but that doesn't matter. Old fucks use Facebook. Just pretty much all dummies use fucking Facebook. And they're, they're like, we need to get a piece of this fucking Facebook. And here's the thing. They're like, Facebook sharing information. And we're outraged. We're outraged and this is going to stop and or be regulated. And we're going to be the ones deciding deciding what, what gets fucking shared and to who and to whom, for, for that matter of fact. Okay, you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers. Meanwhile, some dummies are fucking watching this, just just completely, completely fucking enthralled with it, with this programming. Okay, which again is showing the mentality of the modern day American, right? which is showing why America is is such shit. But we are making it great again. I must say, the outrage is that Facebook is sharing information. And, and, and let's, let's think about the irony behind that, which may or may not be the correct word, but, but there's, something, there's something fishy about that. Because let's see, why, why do most fucking assholes start a Facebook page? I need to share everything. I took, I took 4,000 pictures of the sunset, and that look exactly the same, but I need to share them. I need people to like it. I need people to fucking like it. And then maybe they can share shit, and I'm going to like it. And I saw this guy that made a, a fucking awesome picture of his French toast and it had confectioner sugar on it and it looked very delicious. It looked very fucking delicious, okay? And I had pancakes for breakfast and I need to share that and maybe he'll like that if I like his shit. I need to share as much shit as I possibly can because I need to share it with the world because in that way I'll be semi kind of famous, okay? And what is the outrage? Facebook is sharing information. Well, well fuck. And that's an outrage. How dare they share my information that I'm sharing? I'm sharing this shit. And now they're trying to share it. And this is unacceptable. This is completely 100% unacceptable. And we need Congress to get to the bottom of it. Okay? You know, what kind of fucking stupidity is this? You're fucking Facebook. And pictures of your fucking breakfast. But, but I know. But there's been fake news. And it's been affecting people's votes. And me personally, I don't know that many people. Because I don't have that many friends. But... I do not know one person that, that has changed their vote or decided their vote because of a Facebook post, okay? And here's the new thing. And this has nothing to do with sharing shit and all that. They're mad because somebody that did some sort of Trump shit, I think Cambridge Analytica, got a hold of some fucking information, which everyone posts. Everyone posts that you can fucking, because they want everyone to see it, but damn it, some Trump supporter fucking took this information and used it somehow. What, do we really know how? No. Do we care? No. But we're going to, we need to fucking regulate this shit because we only want it used for liberals. This must be used for fucking liberals and that's it. So the outrage and the outrage, but who the fuck, who the fuck decides their vote on Facebook and who gets their news from Facebook? Well, we rely on Facebook to be reliable news. That is not reliable news. It's a, it's, it's like doing your vote on the National Enquirer or the Weekly World News or some other fucking rag. Facebook's a bigger rag than that shit because everything on Facebook is a lie. It's how, how happy everybody, how perfect my life. Look at my perfect life and look at, if I take a selfie, look, I, I don't look as fat as I am. And I'm making this face while I'm taking a selfie. And look at all my friends. I have four billion friends on fucking Facebook, but you don't know any of them, okay? Facebook is all a fucking lie. Everything's a lie. And... I feel like that these people shouldn't vote, that, that, that are fucking basing their vote on fucking Facebook. They, they really shouldn't. Do they have a right to? Yes. But I think the founding fathers had it right when only landowners should vote because it should be people that produce something and, and have something to protect. Not a bunch of people that are getting fucking welfare from other people. So anyway, and it's reminded me of a question that I've always had, which I know the answer. The answer to this question is people are fucking stupid or, or fucking retardedly stupid stupid. I've always wondered why, pardon me, people are like, politicians are like, around election day, we need to collect money because we need to put out campaign ads on TV. We need TV commercials to help us get elected. <clears throat> pardon me again. And I, and I always wonder, I'm like, who the fuck bases their vote off a TV advertisement? Because it doesn't just matter what, which, which advertisement you see last, because both candidates are going to tell you that they're the best one. And they're going to tell you the other one sucks. Uh, so uh, how do you base your opinion on that? Uh, well, you do absolutely no research. But there's a group of voters that fucking vote like this. And they're fucking stupid. And in my opinion, shouldn't vote. If I was that uninformed, I wouldn't vote. I wouldn't be interested in it. But there's this class of people that are, that are fucked. 
that are fucked and they fuck the country and they take the country down with them because they, they already suck and they want everything else to suck just like they fucking do. Who the fuck votes off a TV commercial? Have you ever seen any product or anything make a TV commercial saying that their product sucks? I, I have no idea with the money wasted on this, but I know why they do it because it fucking works. And, and why does it work? Because people are fucking stupid. Dumber than me, and I'm fucking stupid. That's how fucking dumb they are, okay? Fuck. Oh, and, and I opened a new beer. And this is, if you can see this here, 11.5%. 11.5% to, to rob a land's feds. Even though I know he disagrees with me about Donald Trump. I know he, he agrees with me that, that the percentage of, of alcohol in, in your beer should be celebrated. And I commend him for that. And put our differences aside, Robbo is a great fucking human being. There, I said it. I said it. That's pretty fucking stout. Um, anyways, so as we're, as we're traveling through this fucking story, this tale, the, the, unfortunately, this true story of Congress and, and Facebook, okay? So basically, they're mad because... Somehow that they're trying to blame, and they're going to blame anything on Trump. Because first they were like the Russians and Trump, and that's the only reason. And now that they have no Russian shit, they're like, but they still, they say, they say every agency, every government agency says the Russians interfered with the election. Well, well what government agencies? Well, like all of them. Well, which ones? Like 11 billion of them. Well, that's funny that there's not even 11 billion people on the planet, but 11, yes, 11 billion government agencies swear that there was Russian interference in the, in the United States election, okay? And we can make up acronyms for fucking every one of them. Well, how did they do it? Well, that's none of your fucking business. Well, then, well, well, then how do I know that they did anything? You, you have no... Facebook. They did it on Facebook. They, they put ads on Facebook and they took pictures of potato sandwiches that they were having for breakfast and that they were fucking chasing with vodka, saying that they didn't like Hillary Clinton. And they put it on Facebook, and damn it, it cost the election to Hillary Clinton, the most deserved candidate ever. And you can't argue with that because it's fucking Facebook. The authority on everything. Facebook. Fucking stupid fucking people, man. And the funny thing is, if you do any research, which I don't do, but I, re I remember this because because I actually follow politics. Well, I don't really, there's a couple fucking conservative radio programs that I like to listen to, because I feel like that's the only thing that hasn't been invaded by liberals. I'm, I'm talking AM fucking radio. I, I can't stand listening to music because it sucks. And I can't stand wa watching regular shit, but the, cons but the liberals aren't so concerned with fucking AM radio. They already got NPR. And other than that, you, you basically get a conservative point of view. But, and I remember this. Apparently what this Cambridge Analytica shit schmucks did, which I don't fucking like them either. But apparently the Obama campaign did the same exact thing, except they didn't need a middleman because Facebook just shared everyone's information. All their pictures of their sandwiches and their girlfriends and, and their fucking uh, vacations and their new TV sets and whatever other dumb shit that you put on fucking Facebook. Here's a picture of my sweet fucking band playing at the local fucking shithole bar. Whatever else you put on fucking Facebook was shared with all these people, okay? And, and you know what was done back in 2012 when the Obama campaign did it? They, they were sung praises in the Washington Compost and many other liberal rag fucking newspapers, which I don't find much more credible than Facebook. Okay, okay, so if these things aren't credible, how credible is fucking Facebook? But they were celebrating. Obama and his campaign are genius. Mining information from Facebook, getting this secret information that people fucking post regularly. They're getting it and they're using it to help them. And now we have, we have a good guy in charge. We got a good guy. We got Obama. Yes. We'll even make a theme song someday about how fucking great he is. Hey, buddy, you want to fucking cook? Hey, here's a cookie. So it's it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit, and what it is, it's called sour grapes. And I might not know the I might not know the correct meaning of irony, but I do know the correct meaning of sour grapes, and that's what that fucking is. Eleven point five percent. All right, and then they're like, and I don't like this Zuckerberg one fucking bit. He's a total fucking cuck, and he's a faggot in my opinion, and probably in real life. But I don't care. He has a right to be a faggot and a cuck, but. 
I don't like him. But I don't think he should be dragged in front of Congress. He has a product. Uh, whether it's a good product, I think it sucks. I think it's a, about one of the shittiest, stupidest fucking products I've ever fucking seen in Facebook. But he has a right to fucking make it. And he does. He has a terms of service. So, so what if it's 50,000 pages? I mean, if you sign it, we all saw the episode of South Park with the human sent iPad or whatever the fuck it was when they were sewing people's mouths to their asses because that's what's in the agreement. When you fucking click on it, that's what you do. And you don't have to read it because basically they're taking every information they get. Google, anything. If you have a phone, they're fucking tracking everything you do. And it's just fucking fact of life, okay? It's a fact of life. And like, this is new with technology, but it's not. If you remember back in the 70s and 80s, if you bought a subscription to fucking Sports Illustrated or Playboy or something like that, those people, they sell you with that magazine at a subscription at a discounted price because you used to fill out this little postcard that they wanted a bunch of information from you. And if you would notice this, every time you got a magazine subscription, you would start getting flooded with fucking advertisements in your fucking mail, junk mail from a bunch of fucking assholes. Why? Because the, the fucking good people at Sports Illustrated sold that shit. This is nothing new. This is just, this is, people want your fucking information. Just like they said in that fucking hit, well, not a hit TV show, but an awesome TV show, The Prisoner. We want information. That's what the fuck they want, man. And But they got it. They don't need Facebook. Fucking stupid fucking Facebook. And then even, even some of the senators and congressmen, I agree. And there's probably one or two decent ones in there. But they're mostly they're sexual deviants. They're gluttonistic. They're hedonistic. They're, these people are the scum of the fucking earth, all right? But the ones that follow a platform that I, I'm more closely aligned with myself where they're like you have a liberal bias and you're not giving conservatives a fair voice which i agree with 100 percent yeah you know but the liberals won't agree oh, that's not true but it is fucking true just like the radio shows i listen to give conservatives much more of a fucking voice than they do liberals but all the hosts of the shows that i listen to freely admit that because it's a free fucking country they're like this is my fucking show so Facebook is Kuckenberg's fucking show, okay? But he, but he doesn't like to admit that. They don't like they don't like conservatives. They don't like anything that's not fucking liberal, okay? And uh, would I appreciate it if they said it? I guess. But do I really give a fuck? No, I I really don't because it's a stupid, stupid, stupid platform. Eleven point five percent makes you repeat yourself. So. So even the people on my side are outraged. I mean, we might need to regulate you, much like much like we regulate an Amtrak into being the shittiest railroad company on the entire fucking planet. Yeah, fuck them, man. Fuck them. And, and there's a couple gals, these two black gals, Diamond and Silk, who I think I might enjoy because I see them on. I don't follow them on anything because I don't follow anybody on Facebook to to because frankly I deleted my Facebook. Not not even with this shit a long time ago because I got tired of the of the fucking cunts. Even people that I went to high school with that turned into cunts. I'm, I'm tired of fucking hearing that. I don't talk to these fucks. I, I, don't, I don't need to know anything that's going on in their fucking life. Fuck them. Facebook sucks. But the government shouldn't regulate it, much like many other products that came out. Let the consumer do it. And I say just let the liberals fucking have it. Let, you know, let them fucking have it. And eventually they're going to take YouTube too, and they can fucking have that. And don't worry, they'll ruin it. They ruin everything they ever fucking touch. Every day they ruin healthcare. They ruin. They ruin the government. They ruin. They ruin the Constitution of the United States because they think it's a it's a living, breathing document. They ruin the NFL, or or they're very close to ruining that. And then we we try and just move on and mind our own business. But then they they want to come and ruin whatever we have too. But so, so I say, just let them have their own shit. So so maybe we can mind our own business and have other shit. And maybe if, if they have Facebook, they'll leave me the fuck alone for a while, is, is the way that I look at it, man. Just fuck them. Fuck their ass, man. And and I did, I, I didn't watch the shit, but I watched the news, so I saw the highlights. And I saw Zuckenstein, Zuckenbergstein, <laughs> Schwartzwitz, said this, and um, he goes, we, we want everyone to have a voice as long as it's a positive experience for everyone. Okay, so right there, that just that tells you that it's going to be a liberal voice because it's only going to be positive if they, if liberals don't fucking bitch about it, which they're going to. They don't Anything that's not their opinion, even though they're the most open-minded people in the world, just ask one, they'll tell you. But if you disagree with them, it hurts their feelings and they're offended. So, so 
right there. It goes to, to show you. And it, would it be nice if, if some conservative platform would come out with, with something like Facebook? I don't think it will happen because, <clears throat> and I'm overgeneralizing, I'm overgeneralizing this. I admit that, but at this next statement I'm going to say, go ahead, even though I said I'm overgeneralizing, put down in the comments if you want to be a cunt that, that well, I know an exception to this, because I'm already saying there's exceptions to it, but put it in the comments and I'll love it, I'll love button it, and pin it. I'll put it to the top if you're hateful enough. Most people that, that align themselves with conservatism, I'm not 100% conservative, but that, that's pretty much my views as far as politics go, and football for, for, for that matter of fact like to mind their own business. Like, like, we're not interested in what other people had for breakfast and what the fucking, who they're dating and are they in a relationship because we're more busy taking care of our own fucking lives and we're not into activism for other people that, that, that we don't have anything to fucking do with because I think most people that have a conservative mindset start from the inside out with the individual and they take care of themselves and their fucking neighborhood. And, and honestly, if they take care of their own fucking life, well, then they won't need activists to take care of their shitty situation, you know? So the conservative point of view really doesn't lend itself to creating a Facebook type of thing, in my opinion. In my opinion, go ahead and fucking write it down there. But the liberals have always, always been the squeaky wheel, and that's why. And they run the media. I mean, we'll just admit it. And go ahead and write that. No, they don't. No, they don't. The media is very fair. Put it in the comments. If it's hateful enough, it will get a love button and pinned. Because, because we don't discriminate here at Guitar Struggles. Just because Facebook's popular doesn't mean it's a good product. And like I said, I, I think it sucks. I think it's one of the worst products that ever came out. And I'm going to give you an example. Back in probably the, the early 1900s somewhere, they, they invented the x-ray machine, which was very helpful in medical things. But then other people were like, Here, here's, a, here's a great example. Wouldn't it be great to, to have your shoes fit perfectly? So what we're going to do is here's an x-ray machine that you can fucking put in your own home and x-ray your fucking feet to see if your shoes are fitting correctly. And you can see your foot inside of your shoe, okay? And you can have that x-ray machine in your house. And it's going to be in every shoe store in the country. And it was for a while. And it was great because people were like, my shoes have never fit so perfectly. I've never fit so fucking perfectly. But unfortunately, my, my feet feel like I've been walking fucking barefoot through Chernobyl <laughs> right right after the fucking nuclear radiation leak because my feet are on fire and, and the skin is fucking blazing off of my feet. But my shoes fit perfectly. But now the problem is I can't wear shoes anymore, okay? And did the government regulate that? Probably. But but I think eventually, even if they didn't, people would be like, I'm not buying this anymore because I don't care how great my shoes feel on my feet. If I don't have feet to put my shoes on, who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares, okay? And to me, Facebook is that. It's that. It's the x-ray machine to the fucking brain. And it's really, and people think they like it because well, I'm so fucking happy with this Facebook. But actually, it's turning you into a dumb fuck. And if this is affecting how you vote and, and that this stupid thing is hurting your fucking feelings, you are a fucking cunt, okay? You're a fucking cunt. I was going to say my opinion, but it's, it's not. It's just a fact. If Facebook hurts your feelings and affects how you vote, you're a fucking cunt and, and you shouldn't vote and, and probably shouldn't have feelings. Probably should have the frontal lobe sucked out of your fucking nose. That is my opinion. I, I have fucking people for it. I saw this other shit. It was the day I quit Facebook, honestly. There was this poor little gal, elementary school, grammar school, grade school, whatever you call it in other countries. And, and she was a, a fine looking young, young gal and she had glasses, she had glasses. And she was like, can I get a thousand likes because I'm being bullied for having glasses. And all these people are, are, are like posting, oh, glasses are being, and I wanted to be like, look, look, four eyes, you four eyed fuck goggles. Don't have such a thin skin, fuck them. Fuck these people, fuck them, this, this is not, a, a giant plate. You are not a victim of this. People wear fucking glasses. Stop being a fucking pussy. Stop it. Stop it now. But I didn't. I didn't because I knew where that would fucking go. And nothing good would come of that. I'm like, I, I'm done. I, I, I was like, I think I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this dumb shit. With this dumb fucking shit. Okay? So, so that was how I ended it. And here we have, in the tale of Facebook, 
versus the government. Because yeah, honestly, I, I feel like that. I feel like it's, it's not the government versus Facebook. It's Facebook is put on this pedestal because people are so fucking stupid against the government. The government, which is stupid, which as our founding father said, what is a necessary evil. But, but it, it's out of control and, and it sucks and, and it's a bunch of fucking cunts. And Facebook is a bunch of cunts. So, so basically this whole story is just about a bunch of cunts. It's just about a bunch of stupid fucking cunts. That's what I got, everybody. That, that, that's my breakdown of the Facebook government story. So till next time, your struggles are most definitely my struggles. And I'm out of here.